add a, a slider, what you need to do is once you've logged in, you go into Shopper Press mm -hmm. and you get the list of menus and you go into Display Settings. This is where you change most of the options for the display. So if I go into General Display Options, then these are the things I can turn on and off. Right? So I can show the price or not show the price. Mm -hmm. I can have different currencies. Um, if I have different currencies, I can show that at the top, so people can select how they want to pay. I can have two or three columns, and those are the main the main options that I can have in the display settings. Okay, so in the home page, and this is where that main picture loads up, mm -hmm. and the other pictures here. Yeah. This is where I change them all. So if you don't like any of those, that's why I change them. Also, this information goes at the bottom of the screen. Right. So I can add more information um, about Sweetie or the shop or telephone number and emails, that sort of thing. Um, and I can also have how many products I show on the website. Um, and I can also restrict which products I show. Mm -hmm. So I may only choose to have, say, feature, as this is on the front page, this yeah. is the home page. So I may only have um, featured products on the home page. Okay. So that way, the most popular suites I want to promote will only appear on the home page. They'll all be on there. Mm. Um, I'm just going through these to work up to the sliders. The gallery listings, now this is the um, main galleries you have. So um, let's show the categories box because that's quite useful because then people can search by type of product. Um, gallery can also be done as a list or as a, a bunch of boxes. Sorry to be so technical. I prefer the gallery view, so that's what I, I've mm -hmm. cho chosen. Um, the sidebar, this is the, the one where you show the basket. So you can have that to the left or the right. Mm -hmm. Okay. I can also turn it off. So if I don't want to have it as a shop, but have it as an online catalog, right, then I can do that. So people won't be able to buy then, but they could go in and see everything I had for sale. And on the product page, I can then decide whether I let people um, email or print it, put comments up, um, if I want to show other images um, or other products. So I can turn those on and off if I want to simplify it. Now the sliders can get a little bit, a little bit complicated, but the easiest way is to simply um, choose them as a featured content slider. Right, so you've got the three options. Mm -hmm. Disabled, featured, or half content. Then choose a slider style. Once again, the first one is, is, is quite good. Now, when you come to then decide what to have in your slider, the rotating mm -hmm. images, you can either choose to put the images in manually, and they won't change unless you change them, which can take a bit more time, but can be quite good. Mm -hmm. Or you use featured posts. Now, those are the products that you load up that you decide to be featured right so let's go featured post because that's usually what most people want and it's easier okay now if I just have a quick look and see what the website's doing okay so now we've got the slider in mm -hmm. right now it just so happens we've got the same product in several times mm -hmm. but that's this is what it would do the products you specify as featured products, it would then put the image in, okay, and then put a, whatever text you put in there, right? So if I just go back into our products now, so I go into products, go to manage products, um, I'll, I'll have a look in a minute and remember what the actual image is size, but when you then if you take photographs of your, mm. of your products, and if you, if you make sure they're that size, it will fit that box exactly. Right. Okay. So, so this is the one that you've just added, lemon bonbon, right? So if I go back into this now, yeah, thank you very much, um, and you see down here, if I go into image, sorry, if I go into product data, and I turn that on as a featured product, and then I go into image, and what I can actually have 
I can have two images. If oops, why didn't that do that? I can have two images. I can have the image that goes with the product, and I can have a second image that stays as a featured image on the slider. Right. Okay. So I can have one image that only stays on the slider, or one image that stays on the product page. Um, and this excerpt, by the way, also um, um, will also show up if we're going to link it into Facebook. All right. So uh, let's see, a couple more. Click update. Now, when that's updated. If I go in and update this front page, okay, there's the lemon bonbons. Mm -hmm. There's the delicious sweets that I put in the excerpt. Okay, so the excerpt doesn't always appear on the on the main front page uh, on the main part of the suite. There's one I put in. Okay, let's just scroll down. So obviously, if you keep it to four or five featured products at any mm -hmm. one time. Um, so it's on there. And then if I was to click on that, it takes me into the the featured page. All right. So you'll see that delicious sweets. The excerpt goes there, mm -hmm. and then the main description goes there. So sh writing a short description in the excerpt can be really useful because it, it, it's just that sentence mm. that hooks people in to look at the. You know, we have that special offer, or yeah. you know, just some some bit of text going on. Um, so let me just um, 